Welcome to the first episode of How to Think Script. Our goal is to try and teach you how to build some awesome indicators for the Thinkorswim platform. We will be giving away most of these for free, uh, and if you'd like to follow along this journey or download any of these indicators, you can do so on our website, which is tosindicators.com. Today, in the first episode, we're going to walk you through how to build an anchored VWAP. Uh, VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, uh, and the anchored VWAP essentially adds one more layer on top, uh, and is particularly useful if you'd like to say anchor it to a specific time intraday for day trading, uh, when price action might have reversed, um, or maybe if you're swing trading uh, a company's last earning states, um, date or dates, period, plural, sorry, um, or even things like the December 2018 lows, um, which give you sort of a broader picture view of, say, where price might have bounced from. Um, if you'd like to skip the tutorial and download the indicator and just start playing with it right away, uh, it's, av it's available to download for free on our website. The link is in the description box below. If you'd like to learn how to actually build it, uh, follow along this tutorial, uh, and we'll be teaching you exactly that. All right, so let's get started. To get started, um, first we'll want to create a, a new study in Thinkorswim, and the way to do that is to click the Studies icon uh, and then click Create. Let's give our study a unique name at the top. We'll call it Anchored VWAP. Um, and now uh, we can start by first defining the VWAP in its raw formula the way Thinkorswim likes it. Uh, so here's the formula for it. So we'll say plot anchored VWAP. Uh, and we call that a plot instead of a dash just so that it actually shows, shows up on a chart. We'd, we'd like to see the value of it. Uh, and so we'll say is equal to total sum and it's equal to the high plus the low plus the close divided by three um, times the volume uh, divided by total sum volume. We'll add in the semicolon at the end. Okay, cool. So we had no errors there. So this is uh, the VWAP in its raw form. Uh, and now let's go ahead and add in the two variables of the date and time since at some point we'd like to anchor them. And every time we'd like to say change the date or time to which something's anchored, we don't want to go in the code. And so we'll call this an input and we'll say input anchor date. Um, and we can anchor this to say the 12th right now, which is uh, yesterday. Um, and then we can also anchor or create an anchor time variable, which we will anchor to 930 Eastern. Uh, and this time is always an Eastern time. Um, Okay, so now we have um, a basic definition of the VWAP without any anchoring uh, and two variables, a date and a time, uh, that allow us to essentially now start to build out conditions to see if we are um, before or after this said date and time. Uh, so let's go ahead and create um, two tests for that, uh, two Boolean conditions. Uh, and so first, let's start by testing the date. So we can say uh, def post anchor date, that's what we'll call it. Uh, and in this, we'd like to see if today's date or any other date for that matter, uh, is greater than or equal to our anchor date. And if it is, then return true. And if it's not, then return false. All right, cool. So that accepted without an error. Let's do the same thing with the time. So def post anchor time is equal to, and then this time we'll say if seconds from time, um, and then we'll put in our anchor time as the parameter it takes in, it's greater than or equal to zero, then return true, else zero. All right, great. So now we have our two conditions. And so just to recap, in this first condition in the post anchor date, we're seeing if uh, the date of the bar uh, is greater than or equal to our anchor date, which is a, a value that we're going to put in ourselves. And then we're doing the same test with the time to see if we're before or after, uh, in this case, 930 Eastern. Now we need to find some way to intertwine these into our VWAP condition so that it knows to only calculate the VWAP after these two conditions are true. Uh, and so the way we can do that is we can just uh, input these as an if and else condition, if and else uh, condition within the total sum calculations. And so to go ahead and do that, we'll say uh, right before we start talking about the high plus low plus the close, um, we can say if, um, and then we can bring in our post anchor date and post anchor time. So if both of these are true, then um, we want it to calculate um like such um perfect and if not then we want this to be zero so that it doesn't calculate the view op uh from before then and now we need to do the same thing um with this volume condition so we'll say if post anchor date and post anchor time 
then use the volume, uh, and then otherwise return a zero so that this calculation, um, you can't divide by zero, so it ends up being false. Uh, okay, cool. And so now this on its own should be the basic VWAP. Uh, let's add in some conditions to essentially plot this and uh, pretty it up, so to speak. Um, so let's say anchored VWAP, and let's make this uh, solid styles, a uh, solid line. So we'll say curve dot firm, um, and then, but we would like to make it stand out a little. So let's give it a little bit of a thicker line weight. We can say make it three instead of the default one, uh, and then we can make this uh, the cyan color so it stands out on our charts. So color dot cyan. All right, perfect. So I think fingers crossed this should work. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's click. OK, and what we should see is just a line on our charts that goes from, um, well, in this case, it doesn't show because it's still today. You'd have to be on the intraday basis. And now you see the VWAP, which is this middle line, plotting from the open today um, at 9.30 AM. Wow, that's pretty awesome. OK, uh, and you see here today, essentially, the VWAP acted as, as the chop zone, right? It went above, below, above, below. Uh, we had no clarity today, and it's June 12, 2019, just in case you're watching this in the future. Now let's try anchoring this to a previous earnings date. Um, let's say we want to anchor it to 4-25-2019. So we come in here, we can change this date to 2019, 0-4-2-5, click OK. Voila, um, that totally works. Uh, and we now see that essentially up until we broke through the VWAP, it was acting as some sort of a resistance um, that price action was bouncing up against, up against, falling back down, up against, falling back down, up until recently where we made a decisive push across. And so now we could re-anchor it to say June 3rd to um, use that as our new picture uh, that we'd like to say be looking for a long since that's the most immediate direction. Uh, and that comes in at 127.4, um, 40 for Microsoft. Uh, and that's it. So play around with the view op. I'm curious to see what you find. Um, but thank you for watching the first episode of How to Think Script. Um, if you'd like to download the indicator code in case you wanted to follow along or you want the code in front of you or on a separate monitor, um, use the link in the description box below. The code is free. Uh, you don't need to pay for anything. Um, and if you have any other indicators that say you're, look, you're interested in, you're curious how someone else built it, let's try and open the box and let's try and emulate it ourselves. Uh, all right. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.